Making friends as an artist can be tough. Depending on the community where you live and depending on the people that are around you, you might not have people that have interest in what it is that you create. They might not have interest in the same hobbies as you. And I have noticed that as I've gotten older and I've gotten more into creating an artwork, most of the people that I have um, become friends with was either from a job I worked at or maybe online and the community with other artists. And that's mostly how I've been making friends as I've gotten older. But from my childhood when I was younger, I had a lot of friends that, um, they had a lot of different hobbies in me, a lot of different interests, but because we were all in school, we were all forced together in these groups, I know in class groups, um, we were all together in class and everything. We pretty much had to communicate with each other and talk to each other. And so that's kind of happened sometimes at jobs to where I end up um, becoming friends with somebody that is very different than me. But there is the other side of it, which is trying to make friends as an artist when you're really focused on it, when you don't have a whole lot of time to do um, other activities. And it can be hard for people to understand that, um, especially if you're using art and you're creating things to deal with stress or to express your ideas. And for a lot of people, the best way to express themselves or to express the thoughts that they're having is through artwork. And then when you try to make friends with people, um, it can be kind of difficult if you don't work on uh, socializing or expressing your, your thoughts and ideas with other people in ways other than just creating. And I've lost most of my friends um, from my childhood and as I've gotten older. Um, all the people that I knew from uh, elementary, middle school, and high school, um, there aren't any that I know of right now at the moment that I talk to on a daily, weekly, or even monthly basis. Um, there's a few that I might um, hear from maybe once a year, but other than that, I haven't talked to anybody um, from school. The last time I talked to uh, somebody that um, I went to school with um, from elementary, middle, and high school was probably about three years ago and this is when I went on vacation and I'd, I'd um, met up with him and um, looking back on when I was younger how he was as a person how I am um, there's a lot of changes in about oh, this is 2016 so that would have been So about 12 years, I'd say, yeah. So in about 12 years, there was a really big change in both of us. And I mean, I, I think for anybody, you know, 10 to 12 years, that's a long time. And he was very different than the person they used to be. And when we met up, we got along fine and everything, but we kind of just went our separate ways after that. And I haven't really heard from him since. And then when I moved up to Ohio, uh, all the friends that I made, um, they, they all moved. They went to different cities. They went to college. And I never heard from any of them. And the town that I live in now, it's a, it's a small town. There's about 10,000 people. But I've always felt really out of place here because there's not really much of anybody in uh, the town I live in that really create art or that have any of the hobbies and interests that I have. For example, I'm into drawing, I'm into uh, powerlifting, I'm into sprinting, I'm into painting, 
I'm into, um, I used to be into gaming, but I don't really have time for that anymore. I'm really into a lot of stuff with science and psychology and um, all these different hobbies I have. Um, in my town, there's not really much of anybody that I know of that really has any of the same um, hobbies or interests. And even people that have different um, interests than me, different hobbies, they don't really have any idea what I'm talking about. That's one reason. Or two, they don't have any interest. And the third reason is the um, huge age difference between me and the other people. Um, because, like in the town that I live in, um, everybody, as soon as they turn um, 18, graduate high school, they all move on to uh, go to college. And so they, they move state or they um, you know, go to a different city. And so all the people that are in my age group between you know, 18 to like 35, they're not even living here, they move somewhere else. And then there's also the difference in personality. Um, it's kind of a, it's a small town that has, hmm, I'm trying to think how to put it. It kind of seems like a Southern town in a way, the people, but it's also North because I live in Ohio. And so there's kind of this really strange effect of um, cultures. And um, I just, I feel very out of place for the most part. And the few people I do have to talk to would mostly just be online, um, other artists. And I do have one friend, he lives about um, a little over an hour away. I get to see him maybe once or twice a year. Kind of depends on what he's doing. But um, I do feel really out of place in this area. And I did consider moving at one point. Well, actually several times. And I wasn't ever able to because of the cost of living. Um, because where I live, the rent's pretty cheap. And utilities and everything else is pretty cheap. So any of these places that I would even consider moving to, I really can't afford it. And so, I mean, if I can't afford to move somewhere, um, it's not really gonna matter much of uh, how badly I would want to move or the better options if I can't afford it. And um, pretty much living in Ohio that I've looked is probably the cheapest that I know of to live and even though I feel very out of place and there's not really much to do here as far as activities and um, making friends and meeting people and and all of that there's not really much to do here but um, the, it's cheaper to live and uh, like I said all the places I would like to live that have more activities and more things to do um, they cost a lot more and so I can't afford to live there um, one example would be I'm originally from Florida. I grew up there until I was 15. I moved up here and the people are very different. Like when I lived down, uh, down south, I could wave at people or a stranger. I could just talk to a stranger for maybe half an hour if I was out shopping somewhere. And someone asked me, uh, oh, did you know that person? I'm like, no, I just, just met him. But when I moved up here, the people don't seem quite as friendly and I was I was used to having um, people that were strangers where I used to live down south that if I waved at them or if I started talking to them in public they were more willing to talk to you and they were more friendly you know I could just wave at somebody down there and they'd wave back but up here if I just go up to some random stranger I noticed that if I start talking to them and I try to be friends with them, or I'm driving or walking somewhere or from public and I wave at somebody, they give me a weird look like if there's something wrong with me because I waved at them. And it's just a completely different um, atmosphere as far as meeting people and making friends. So 
I definitely do feel out of place, but I also don't really have any options as far as um, living arrangements um, because I don't really know of anybody um, that I could move in with or live with or a different state um, because most of the people I do even know live in um, either here in Ohio or Florida. And so those are pretty much the only two options I have. I mean, I did live in California one time and living there was so expensive. I mean, man, it was, the rent was just outrageous. It was like, in the area I was at, like Southern California, the rent was like 1500 a month. And this was all the way back in 2012, that was seven years ago. And there was just no way I could afford rent like that. I'd have to live with like four other people. And that's another thing is the difficulty I have with living with people I don't even know because I like to keep my living area very clean. I like to have um, peace and quiet. I don't like um, if it's noisy all day or loud or loud music playing because I like to have some uh, quiet time to think to relax because when I'm at work all day, I'm working with the public, I'm working with people, um, I'm talking a lot, and so I come home and I don't want to have to listen to uh, a bunch of noise all day. And um, But anyways, back to what I was saying about uh, moving and all that. When I lived in California, it was, I mean, it was nice there as far as um, the weather was great. There's a lot more to do but it just wasn't possible for me to afford that. And that's why I moved back uh, to Ohio. And as I said about the difference in um, the atmosphere, the culture of the people moving from there to Ohio versus compared to Florida, um, it was really different. Like when I did live in California, the people seemed a bit more friendly, but at the same time, they seemed very um, on edge at the same time. It was kind of, it was a strange experience at times. But um, yeah, I don't really have any options as far as where I could live. And so I'm just doing what I can with what I've got here. But I think more importantly than where you're living is your state of mind, um, what you think about yourself, what you're doing with your life. And at the same time though, Depending on where you live, you might have more options um, to do things. And I noticed that in the area that I live, um, people don't really seem to have any interest in art. So the difficulty of it is getting my name out there in this area and getting people to um, know of me as an artist or people having interest in buying my artwork. Um, so it's, it, it does make getting yourself out there more difficult. But if I lived in a state that had more people that was more enriched in um, artwork, then I could get my name out there easier. But there's also the fact of uh, more competition of people. Um, so it's kind of a, a good and bad in both ways. But I think I would get my name out there more if I lived in the area that had more people and um, people that had interest in artwork. But as I said with where I live, um, there's not a whole lot to do. It's mostly just cornfields, um, a few restaurants, some stores, and that's mostly about it. And the things and activities that there are to do, they're more of, um, hmm, there's not really things that I don't have interest in. For example, um, most of the year it's really cold so starting from like October November December January February March and most of April um, it's cold like in April the weather's like raining then it's cold and it's kind of warm and then October gets pretty cold and it does the same thing so April is like I would say April is like the most annoying month to me here in Ohio because as I said, it gets cold, and then it's hot, and then it rains, and then it's like humid, and it's dry, and it's annoying. But anyways, um, it's cold most of the year, or at least more than half the year, and I do not like the cold. And the activities that there are to do in the cold, um, I don't really care for doing because I don't really like being out in the cold. 
and then on top of that the people um, in my area um, I don't really have anything to really talk about with them so if I do go out and I have done this I'm trying to make friends with people in my area um, they don't have any of the same interest in me, as me nothing to talk about and when I will try to talk to them about the things that I have interest in um, they'll always change the topic or the subject back to things they have interest in and discussion mostly just gets to be about them um, who they are they end up being the one that is always the talker and I always have to be the listener and then it doesn't even feel like a friendship I feel like I'm just there to listen to what they have to say and so yeah most of the activities to do in the winter I don't have interest in and then in the summer I usually work more and um, busy or doing things and so I don't have as much time to get out then and there's not really much of anything else really to do around here like there's there's a mall nearby there's some like fast food places which I don't go to and if I want something I usually buy it online because it's cheaper and I don't have to pay all this um, extra for the product like I can get it online for like half the price and it's not really anything to do with the mall um, and I've been there so many times I mean, sometimes I'll get out and I'll just drive over in that area just to have something to do but other than that um, not a whole lot else I mean sometimes I go to the gym um, there's a couple of guys I'm, I talk to they're like my gym friends and I've only gone to the gym maybe like three or four times this month because I've been so busy working on things plus work and uh, yeah it, I mean just the huge changes that I've had in my life plus moving um, the changes to myself as a person and all, all the changes in um, the world around me it's all kind of um, it's all distance itself from each other and I think at this point I'm not really sure uh, what else to do um, other than just keep drawing and I'm doing what I enjoy because I, I don't do it to try to like really make friends or nothing but I think that um, I wanted to talk about it mainly just to give people advice and to share my experiences but um, yeah as I said there's not really uh, much to do around here I feel very out of place and all the places I could live or that I would want to live I can't afford and um, so here I am and the friends I do have uh, I talk to online and that's mostly it and um, I like where I live now I um, live in an upstairs apartment but it would be nice if I live like out like close to town where I can get everything but also kind of away from everything so it's like completely peaceful and quiet um that would be pretty nice but i've looked around and all the other places they want like twice as much as what i'm paying here for this for the same amount of area um and then utilities are more so i was like ah no it's not gonna work out but um yeah there's been a lot of changes in my life um since i was living down in Florida and I was gonna say since I was 13 but um, yeah there's a huge change between when I was 13 and now as compared to when I was 15 and now because um, I moved up here when I was um, 15 it was about uh, let's see June, July, August about four or five months before I turned 16 and moved up here and uh, yeah, that was a huge change. I remember in school, I, I felt really out of place. Because as I said before in um, another video, I was used to being stressed all the time. I was used to not having anything to eat. I was used to not having um, a lot of things in life. And then I went from not having anything to moving up here to actually having some things in life. And then 
my mind and my body was still stuck in that state of being stressed, being angry. And it took me a long time to adjust and adapt to it. And I remember in school, I would sit by myself at the lunch table and the lunch table in front of me, beside me, and behind me was completely empty. And no one would come up to me and say anything. I would just eat my food and then I would put my head down and like try to take a nap or something before the next class started. And um, even in high school up here, I felt very out of place. And um, the people were very different. And because I was um, very different than all of them, they didn't seem to accept me as a person. And then I remember um, in our class, um, even then I couldn't, I didn't really have anybody to discuss things with or to really talk to. Because I even felt out of place there because the other students were, that were taking our class, they didn't have an interest in art. They were just taking it for an extra credit or something to uh, graduate. And I remember uh, the, the other students that told me that they'll never be able to draw as good as me. We had art class, and then during that art class, their skill they developed in that short of time. They were already drawing better than me by, by the end of art class. And I remember telling them, I was like, you said you'd never be that good. And then they never answered me on it. And it was because they, they didn't believe in themselves because they didn't want to make the effort, but they put a little bit of effort into it, just like a passing class. But then they never pursued it. And I talked about this in another video when it comes to talent versus practice. And, um, but anyways, I'm getting a little bit off topic, but I do feel pretty out of place, but I am trying to do my best to um, share my experiences with people. And I guess, uh, hmm, I'm not lonely. I'm pretty much uh, happy with um, creating and drawing and doing things and I'd rather have one or two friends that I'm close to to talk to rather than a hundred people that I don't have anything to talk about but I'm working on it and uh, I hope that me talking about this and sharing experiences helps you in most of my um, topics and things I talk about I don't really have planned I just kind of start talking about them because I try to plan everything it kind of gets feels too mechanical and um, it's not really uh, as engaging I would say so I mostly just pick a topic and then I start talking about it but hopefully you find this um, interesting or it's helped you so share me some of your experiences and what you've had to deal with as an artist from when you're younger compared to now and trying to make friends when you're younger compared to when you're older as an artist and what those experiences and changes were like but i'm gonna go work on some things work on some doodles think of uh some creative ways to make some new uh drawings with all of my pens because i've got hundreds but anyways i'll see you in the next video and hope you found this useful and if you have any questions or anything you want to tell me about your experiences go ahead and let me know and we can talk about that until then i'll see you later and you have a good day